Hello, and welcome to Three Simple Strategies to Support Your Sweet Toddler's Expressive Language Skills. I'm Laura Montesano. I work as a pediatric speech-language pathologist. I'm also a board-certified music therapist. This webinar is geared toward parents or caregivers of young children between the ages of two and three years old. You may be looking for some easy ways to support your child's expressive language, or maybe you're starting to notice that your child might not be talking as much as other children their age, and you may be wondering what else you can do to help them. Today, I'd like to share three simple but very effective strategies that support expressive language. These strategies are to be used when you're playing with your child or reading a book together, going out for a walk, or even within your daily routines, whatever you may be doing. The first strategy is reduce questions. So we all do this. We tend to fall into questioning. What's this? What's that? What are you doing? What does the dog say? Where is it? We want to hear our children talk, so we ask them questions and hope that they'll respond. Questions are part of conversation. I don't want to say that questions are bad by any means. But when we ask questions, especially a lot of questions, it does put a certain amount of pressure on the child. And if talking is something that's more challenging for the child, it might not be the most effective strategy. So let's take a step back and notice how much we're questioning and see if we can reduce the number of questions and see what we can do instead. And that leads us to our next strategy, which is name and describe. So rather than asking, what's this, what's that, let's name what it is. Let's tell them. Let's demonstrate or model what we want them to say. For example, if you're taking a walk outside, you can be pointing and naming what you see. You may point and say, look, airplane, and maybe make a sound. If your child is playing with toys, you can describe what they're doing. For example, with their toy cars, you might say something simple like, go, or Go up or down, down, down. Simple descriptions like you're narrating. When you do this, you're modeling language for them. They're hearing the word, which may give them more confidence and allow them the opportunity to imitate or even spontaneously make a sound or say something to comment on what you're doing or saying. If you're reading a book together, you can be pointing and naming the pictures or using simple language to describe what's happening in the picture. We don't always have to be asking what's that. We can name something and then wait, which is our third strategy, wait. Just like that, that was three seconds. I encourage you to give that a try. Use pauses in your speech. Slow down and leave some space for them to respond. You can even count to three in your head before you say something else. If we want some kind of response from a child, we need to remember to slow down and leave room for a response. We all get caught up in what we're doing and moving a little quicker than we realize and understandably so, there are things that need to get done, but we want to remember to slow down and leave some space for the child to respond in their own way. So those are three simple but very effective strategies that you can immediately start using in your interactions with your toddler. Remember to reduce the amount of questions that you're using and instead name and describe, name the things that they're playing with, things that they see, and describe their actions and your actions. And then, wait. We want to slow down and provide some space, some time for them to respond. 
there are other things you can do. There are more tools and strategies that you can have at your fingertips. I've designed an online course called Helping Your Toddler Talk, Practical Strategies for Everyday Routines. This course empowers parents and caregivers to move from wondering what to do to help their child talk to knowing specific and practical strategies and how to use them in everyday routines to support their child's communication. This course is for parents or caregivers of children between two and three years old. And specifically, if you're feeling worried or concerned that your child's expressive language may be behind for their age, you see that they may be talking a little less than other children their age, and you're wanting some clear ideas on what else you could be doing at home to help. Or maybe you already have your child on a waiting list to receive an evaluation for speech and language, and you're wanting to get started. You're looking for some clear instruction on what you can do. Or maybe your child completed an evaluation, but didn't qualify to receive services because of what the cutoff might be in your state. So you're still looking for some support on what else you can do. Or it could be that your child has some kind of diagnosis that includes a delay in speech and language, and you're looking for additional support. If any of these scenarios resonate with you, let me tell you a little more about the course. It's organized into seven chapters, one chapter for each week, except for the first week you have access to chapters one and two. Each chapter addresses a specific strategy that you can immediately start using in your daily routines. The strategies include visuals, sign language, language modeling, and music. Yes, that's only four, but some of the strategies are broken up into two sections. That's why there are seven strategies. Each chapter begins with a 20 to 30 minute video addressing that specific strategy of the week, why it's effective, how to use it, and real life examples. And each chapter ends with a challenge for the week, which gives you the opportunity to try out the strategy. Accountability tools, outlines, cheat sheets, and video tutorials are included each week. I understand that being with a toddler, you have limited time, so I made the tools ready for you at your fingertips. The challenges are practical and drawn from experience and evidence-based practice. Who am I designing this course? Well, I've been working in the homes of families with young children for 20 years, first as a music therapist and then as an early intervention speech language pathologist. So I tend to use music among other tools in my work. To reach more families, I decided to create this online course so it's convenient for you. You can tune in when it works for your schedule, when you have time, and you can start implementing the practice as soon as you're ready. I do want to be clear that I am a certified speech language pathologist. However, this course is not online speech language therapy. This course is giving you the information and the tools and clear examples of how to use it. As the parent or caregiver, you take responsibility for your practice and your interpretation of the teachings and the techniques. I've honed in on the strategies and the tools that I find to be most effective, and I've laid them out here in a systematic way. So week by week, you can be plugging them into your routines and naturally be working on expressive language with your child. When you complete the Helping Your Toddler Talk course, you'll not only have the tools and understanding on how to help your child, but you'll have more confidence in your skills and these skills will pave the way for more success for your child.